All right. Breaking news from the No Sewing podcast. The king is dead. Long live the king. No. <laughs> <laughs> that bit is gonna be terrible. It's gonna be great though. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. But no, bitter black women rejoice around the world because you're b- the bane to your existence. Existence. The one who makes you accountable and holds you and holds your sins in front of your faces is dead. He passed away. Yeah. R.I.P. That poor guy. But, but he went in an amazing way. He went out. He was like, fucking a bad uh, little Hispanic. It makes with me a fat a ass. Bad Hispanic with a fat ass. And and. He went out how most guys want to go, go out. out. And some... <laughs> a lot of in between some, some something. Yeah, but um, it's a shame, but, you know, because yeah. he, he seemed relatively healthy and everything. For the most part, but... but no. You never know underlying yeah. health, things, underlying health. drugs. It could have been coke. Um, could have been coke. Might have been Viagra. Might have been might have been Viagra. In the 50s. So. Might have been just her sitting on his face too long and then him trying to perform afterwards. Like, a lot of black women in... Is celebrating that celebrating for real and it's disgusting. Yeah, it's it's really disgusting that even if you don't agree with someone, there's no reason you should be celebrating someone's death, especially when they've they've by my knowledge never killed anyone, never, never really, harmed anyone, never physically harmed anyone. I mean, yeah. like his words might have hurt some feelings, yeah, but but you know he was just doing that to try to. He was legit trying to help a lot of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because the, the just way, like he jayed down on women, he started off jaying down on men. men. But once he started doing women, all the black women started getting hurt. And then you guys kept calling him. They called him. Yeah, he didn't call he y'all. He didn't call y'all. Y'all, y'all came called to him. him with y'all problems. And some of you couldn't face up to your own demons. So it made you look like an asshole. And that's just it. When you're you you have a moral compass and you go and you meet someone without a moral compass and you challenge them on morals, you're gonna fucking lose because you got loose morals and you don't want to stand by your loose morals. He was telling women to have realistic standards and because this is what men we grow up with having real expectations and real standards of what we can do, like what to a certain extent what we what we provide gets us. A certain amount of recognition, and that puts us in a certain bracket of the type of women we get. I'm not saying that's not all the time. There's lots of expectations, but as a man and as a and as a and as a boy, like you're told these things that you have to yeah. get these things and do these things to get these these type of certain type of women. So, yeah, you have to have this. This you have to have your ducks in a row. Yeah. However, there's a lot of like entitled women that have the princess mentality yep. that really thinks all they need is a pussy. And, or because I'm I'm, I'm pretty. And I'm pretty. Pussy, 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 pussy. Got a pussy. All I got is pussy. Pussy, 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 pussy in your face. Got my pussy really gushy. Give me that motherfucking dick. Like, <laughs> come on. That's 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 not gonna cut that's it. Not gonna in, in, in your twenties, you know. In your twenties. Of course, in your twenties, yeah, so every as, as you wouldn't lay with you. you, and I, you know, it's uh, you know, and a lot of these bad yeah, females, bad bitches, good looking, not all the time, but the good looking women, bad things. bitches with the princess mentality, they usually end up single, old, and bitter because you got to think, the older you get, there's gonna always gonna be someone with a fatter ass, bigger tits, finer than you, more beautiful. And than guess you. who a lot of women better. that called him were. Middle-aged, bitter women who blame black men, men. for all of their problems. And that's the pro- part that pisses me off, too. Not only are like black women celebrating his death, they're allowing white men to celebrate his death. That's weird. And it's like, y'all some fucking... It's like the coonery. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, it's just... I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm not going to... Why does he can't give me the dick? Because he hates you. Fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. I wish he'd have attacked you. <laughs> I wish he still had his balls. So that you got so rid of attack you. you got rid of, I, you I got rid of his balls. You, you did. Anyway, <laughs> so speaking of balls, they tried to um pull um pull the he it's a BBW card too. No, she's just like, a thick. She was just a thick woman. A you thick know, Latina I mean? with a fat. And ass. who said because he just because he said black women are overweight and statistically speaking, like most black women are, there's a good percentage of black high, higher percentage of black women who are overweight compared to other races. This is actually a fact. 
Just because he was pointing don't, out facts don't about, say facts. It's about weight. They don't, <laughs> they don't like to hear facts Hold and on. numbers. Hold on. Just because he was pointing out that, right, does not mean he didn't like big women. No, it doesn't. Like, I like big women. I like so, big women, but I, that no. doesn't make me like not go, oh, hey, man, you might, you you might, gotta, wanna, you might wanna work out. You gotta you gain him a little bit too much. But you can't say that to him because yeah. you know that is just that's ethically wrong. Ethically wrong. But I don't, yeah, that's body, you can't body, body shaming. shaming. But so I'm just like, healthy? Dude, dude, I just want you to, I just want you to take, live longer. To take care of, yes, live longer. Take care of yourself. Take care, take care of yourself. Shit, I like you. Yes. <laughs> you know, I like you and I want to keep having sex with you so I don't want you to just croak and pass away. Pretty much. So. Like, all I, all I asked was for you to walk. Damn, walk for like half an hour. You don't got to do anything crazy. Nah, uh, you know, drink water, get rest, walk. You know, that's it. But it don't take much. It don't really take too it take much. take much for us. We already know it don't take much to keep in shape. No, it really doesn't. You ain't got to do nothing too crazy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I mean, unless you're like huge, you're coming down from a bend. Let's <laughs> circle back to the whole Kevin Samuel thing and this uh, talking more so about how disgusting it is to talk about. To rejoice in someone's death. Stuff. Obviously, if you're if you're Hitler, or or maybe when Putin dies, people who've done massive harm to groups of people, that's understandable. But when you're attacking a man, a black man, at at that for being blunt and honest with you because you don't like how he's talking to black women, and you feel some type of way about it, now you're rejoicing in someone's death, which proves him right about a lot of y'all. A lot of things he was saying in his proves, passing, it proves his this, point. It proves his point. That they have a disgusting and terrible mindset. Like, a, mindset. not all of them. No, no, no. Not no, all black all. women. No, I'm saying all. But a lot of black women, the vocal minority or whatever you want to call it, has a shitty mindset, shitty morals, and they're just probably all around shitty people. Yeah, because you should you shouldn't be. That's like I might I got like I respect because I've on the on the opposite side I've seen like a lot of black women like replying and saying I may not agree with him, but at the same time he is a black man and I'm not gonna bash someone when they're dead. Exactly. I'm just, like, like, I, just, I, don't I don't know dead. I don't this what he says. All this bashing the dead shit. This is some shit I didn't grow up with. I remember like, you didn't talk ill on the day. No, you didn't. That's you didn't bad. talk ill on that the day. Comes back, man. That shit comes back. And it ain't nothing but like a bunch of old spiteful like these new like people's heads now, they just they no. they really don't got no they, control. They, 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 control. It's just like that they they, they they thrive on this. Yeah. It, it, it's yeah. just like a but you know, on the upside is, is what I mean. No, not upside, but on the on the downside, what is going to happen? Because there is a huge power vacuum that he's gone. It's gonna get way worse for y'all because the dude Kevin Samuel was not nearly he's as mad as most of these guys. Black. I've seen so many bitter, bitter black, black dudes on the internet. Man, they waiting for that spot. They waiting. They and want that spot. It just spot. takes the right video. It takes the right. And video. then we're gonna see. We're gonna see a lot of uptakes in these videos. Mark my word. And that one guy, and yeah. he's gonna be. I, no I hope it's worse. not that Spider Man guy. No, because that guy hates black women. I just think he hates women. I think he hates women in general. Sometimes, but the, but yeah. the thing is with yeah, let me stop making it a black with black. with with black with black spotty guy, right? I we can understand where he comes from, right? Yeah, we can. But get a lot it. of it comes off really mad, bitter. Yeah, like a lot of bitterness. And my thing with him when he has good points is me. I might be wrong. Me personally, I've never seen him say well. Men, make sure that you're accountable for your actions. You know, it's always the women this, women that. But yeah. at the same time, if you're a dude that has nothing to offer, you're boring, your whole thing is that you just go to the gym and you're expecting these type of certain type of women, and but you have no type of personality, like what do you expect? What do you what do you, what do you, what do you expect? You expect? Well, I mean, and then you gotta well, you have they to, expect bad bitches. You have to re and you have to realistically 
realistically date with <laughs> within your, not bracket your bracket and <laughs> preference. And I'm not saying and look, see, like, we're saying this about men. And, and, and <laughs> this is also a play for women. And, and but we're not, saying this about men. You gotta now. you gotta date in, in you gotta date in your bracket. And not saying that like the advantage that men do have over women when it comes to the to the bracket thing is that Men are, it's a lot easier for a man to advance within his bracket because a one or a two by doing the right things can end up being a five or a six. Yeah. We're so more so if you're ugly as a woman, you're kind of ugly. Mm. But not now, not, not with modern cosmetics though. That's what I was thinking because like, modern cosmetics, man, motherfuckers out here looking like yeah. Cyberpunk 20, yeah, 2077, like. Yeah. All like, these all cosmetics. These, all these GMO girls. And man, speaking of the cosmetics things, it just seems like with cosmetics and um women, it's like every woman is desperate to look exactly the same. same. And oh, uh, Kevin Samuels <laughs> things like we we're not as now. as the as the women say that we're not Kevin Samuel lights. Like we don't we don't subscribe to <laughs> to, to theoretically <laughs> that's what they call it. All right, all right. They, we don't subscribe to his his brain of thought, even though he does, he has what he's what he's done. In my opinion, the best thing he has done has has exposed the unrealistic expectations of black women and men in general. And I appreciate it. Yeah, that. there's a lot of shit that I don't agree with. I don't. I personally don't like his delivery that much because he's blood and honest. Yeah. Sometimes he lets people down either, but that one, he's like, ah. Oh. That nigga like always that hit one video the where nuke. You got, a, you got a small dick. Yeah. You don't got no money. You're ah. fat. You're fat. You're short. You're short. No bitch is gonna want you. Ain't no bitch trying to fuck you, nigga. <laughs> you better take what you can get. But, you know, or, you know, in some cases with the women, like, you're fat. You got three baby daddies. You know, he, Come on, Kevin. There's love for everybody, but but you know people got to be realistic about their situation. Yeah, you know what I mean. Gotta, like I know, mm-hmm. I know it's cool that everybody gets a trophy. Mm-hmm. You know, but no, you gotta be real. You gotta be realistic <laughs> about your expectations, and that's that's more so what I got from Kevin Samuels. Yeah, his, I got that in, from him too. in his in his, in his delivery. Though, even though we're probably even when this video drops, we're, we're gonna be like, "You hate black women. You're yeah. you're Kevin Samuelites." Like, like, no. Why would we? Why would I? Why would I hate black women? My I, mom's a black woman. My mom is. My black. daughter's a black woman. Is that? I got a kid. Yeah. My sister's you know, a black woman. Your sister's a black woman. Your aunts are black women. They just think that you just because you just because you think that. Women should be hold themselves accountable to the same standard that some men need to hold themselves accountable, whether whether that's taking care of yourself physically, mentally, and financially. You know, you gotta get on, you gotta be on top of your own shit, and you can't depend on another person to come in, scoop you up, scoop you up, take on your burdens, and fix all of your problems. Because at the end of the day, when you hook up with that guy who has everything going for him, financially, whatever, you're still going to be a fucking train wreck. Yeah, and you're just going and to drag them down. Yeah, yeah. they're not going to want, like so-called men of high value, high status aren't going to want a woman that drags them down. Just like, just like a woman, a true woman of high status, high value, isn't going to want a bum ass nigga. Yeah, a nigga who's just dragging her down. Uh-huh. I mean, you're wrong. Sometimes they, they sometimes they do. They, they go for it. Uh-huh. They like the, it's just it's just this weird thing where you know some women like to try to fix a man. They, and, they like to try to fix a man. Yeah. You no, know, but, but and I, and and we gotta be real. Niggas lie. Niggas do lie. We we lie. We we oh, we'll right. we'll seem high value even though we're not. We're not. We're not. But you know. That's what also a, that's also a pitfall of looking for a high value, value. man. I can like, myself, the twin, like the tender swindler. Yeah, I consider myself a medium value man. Me and I, <laughs> I am a medium value, so hey, uh, right in the middle. I consider myself emotionally unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> at least I'm being honest. You be, at least I'm being honest. Like I know, like I'm, 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 I'm a medium value. I I, I know where I where I'm at. Where I'm at. <laughs> I I've been all over. I don't know where I'm at because I've been all over the place. Yeah, uh, you know, you, you know, I dabble. I dabble. You know, your life is like the song says. 
Life is a highway. I want to ride it all night long. That's all your life. Long. That is your life. <laughs> well, that's been the, that's, <laughs> that's that on that. Take care, everybody. You guys have a good one. I take no particular pride or pleasure in doing shows like this because I know it triggers certain certain black women. I know they do.